paper. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was so fun. <laughs>after more than four decades of confronting each other on the big screen, Laurie Strode and Michael Myers will face off for the very last time in Halloween Ends. With 12 movies spanning from 1978 to 2022, Halloween Ends is a film that will have its world premiere on October 11th and is scheduled to be theatrically released in the United States on October 14th by Universal Pictures. It will also stream simultaneously on P Tears of Peacock for 60 days. Set. Set. The franchise is notable for its multiple timelines, continuities, remakes, and reboots, which can make it confusing for new viewers. Forbes said it was the choose-your-own-adventure of horror movie franchises. The films collectively grossed over $773 million at the box office worldwide. Okay. You're not losing your mind. I was right. I hate being right. Are you sad? The premise of this film reads, four years after the events of last year's Halloween Kills, Lori is living with her granddaughter Allison and is finishing writing her memoir, while Michael Myers hasn't been seen since his last brutal rampage. Lori, after allowing the specter of Michael to determine and drive her reality for decades, has decided to liberate herself from fear and rage and embrace life. But when a young man, Corey Cunningham, is accused of killing a boy he was babysitting, it ignites a cascade of violence and terror that will force Lori to finally confront the evil she can't control, once and for all. I, I'm, I, I just want to make sure that he's getting the right support. There's a, a good therapist that I see. That's great. Awesome. A newly released behind-the-scenes look at Halloween Ends teases the final battle between Michael Myers and Laurie Strode. Released via the official Twitter account for Halloween Ends, the footage finds returning star Jamie Lee Curtis discussing what it's like to bring the character's decade-spanning journey to an end after all these years. It's a movie about a final reckoning between Laurie and Michael. Michael Myers in that mask represents pure evil. Sure, sure. But before we get into more of these moments, some trivia for you. What was the original title of Halloween? Leave your answer in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. So, so it should be blood pumping from, from tubes. Copy blood pumpings. And, uh, and preset uh, sticky mat problem. Jamie Lee Curtis goes behind the scenes with her character in the film and shares a final goodbye as this is the last time in the franchise. This experience in the movies, that is the beauty of Halloween. And we actually get a message from her about her character. So you all know I've played Laurie Strode for more than four decades. And over that time, she has been relentlessly stalked by Michael Myers. Well, all that comes to an end this Halloween. And I'm very proud of our final film, Halloween Ends, and how it brings this saga to a fitting conclusion. And even some of the other crew and cast members praise her for how long she has played the role in this film series and how well she's performed. Jamie Lee Curtis is a badass. She goes in and she works her 
tail off. Her commitment to what she does is so next level that it, it elevates everybody around her. It was really lovely to be able to like sink in and be on set with her more and she's just a master class in everything she does. We get snippets of behind the camera as they are filming certain scenes. And action. Oh! Hey, I didn't mean to scare you. I'm, just, I'm waiting for Allison. Cut. Okay, cutting, cut, really? cut. We even get a glimpse of the creepy scenes when Michael Myers is standing hidden behind a tree in front of a house. Halloween Ends picks up four years after the events of Halloween Kills, which premiered in 2021. In a featurette, Jamie Lee Curtis mentioned that there is no way for her to know the extent of the love and affection her character would receive while working on the original 1978 film. That is the heart and soul of these Halloween movies, she said. It will be difficult to say goodbye to Laurie Strode. I think both your parents got killed. I think your grandma feels but real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. Here he goes, and then we're gonna he's zip it best there. We go here. And then we we cross here and we see the hole there. He stops right here. Then we see During an interview, Curtis claimed the film will be shocking and will make people very angry. What we knew is that people watched. And we got great results, both at the box office and from streaming. Following the release of the teaser trailer, Omar Dorsey and Will Patton were revealed to reprise their roles from the previous films. In August, Castle had finished ADR for Michael Myers. By the end of the month, Green told in an interview that the film was still being tweaked despite the film being picture locked, which refers to a stage in editing prior to online editing when all changes to the film or television program cut have been done and approved. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, the events of the original script titled The Babysitter Murders took place over several days. The script was changed to have everything happen on the same day to reduce the number of locations and costume changes and keep the film under budget. It was decided that Halloween, the scariest night of the year, was the perfect night and title for the film. It was totally perfect. It's perfect. Perfect. Um, watch it. The whole thing is perfect. Okay, let's mic. So. And with more behind the camera moments, we can see a scene of Michael Myers roaming around a home which even behind cameras surrounding by other people doesn't make it any less scary than it already is on screen. Sticky mat, Set. Set. And action. Great. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, guys. The focus of Halloween Ends marketing has been solely on Lori and Michael's battle. Rightfully so, but Halloween is much bigger than Lori. If the last film, Halloween Kills, taught us anything, it's that Michael has infected all of Haydenfield. So you want a piece of him in the foreground when you... Do you think it's cool or not great? Well, 
especially for Lindsay, who was just a kid in 1978. There's a lot of lasting trauma from the horrific night. We get a hint of what that has done to Lindsay in Kills, but since the movie was moving at a thousand miles an hour, the film didn't have time to fully explore her character. With ends starting back up at square one four years later, this finale looks like it will fully explore all the cracked psychs left behind by Michael. Also, Lindsay is one of two survivors still alive from 1978. See, Lindsay and Lori are the original survivors of this, and you know, it's only fitting that all these years later that we're here together. Fans have been anxiously waiting to see if Lori will survive ends, but that might be distracting us from the actual horror of this film. Even if Lori wins this fight, survival doesn't matter when all of the people you care for are dead. Lori has already lost her daughter, Karen, and her best friends, Annie and Linda. All she has left is Allison and Lindsay. Kills showed that no character is saved. It feels like Lindsay may not survive this particular Halloween night. Yeah, the fans are... I've always said that they're incredibly special, and, and they just keep proving that time and time again, because it's... Um... The fandom that is with this film is, is real and it's huge. So we want to turn this around to you guys. Are you going to watch this new film when it releases and what are your expectations? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye.